Hi, um, this is just a, a follow-up uh, video to my last video on uh, an ABS sensor um, just to uh, make it a little bit more clear how it works. Um, here we have on this end here we have our ABS module and over here we have our ABS uh, speed uh, sensor. It's called a magnetoresistive sensor. Um, in other words, it's a digital sensor. What you'll have is the square waves coming out of it. It's not uh, the same as a VRS sensor. Your ABS module over here has a 12 volt supply to it and it comes to a high value resistor here. It's a very high value resistor. Uh, it can support very little current. Uh, if you put, uh, try to light a bulb off this, it will bring this 12 volts down to zero. It's this voltage here then is fed back to this monitoring circuit for its um, onboard di its own diagnostics. Um, this is how you would get uh, an ABS warning light. If this wire here was shorted to ground, it would be zero volts. And this monitoring circuit would pick up that. No, it should not be down as far as zero volts. Uh, the minimum voltage should be around 0 0.08 volts, as you see here on this waveform. The 12 volt goes through the sensor, and what you have here is two resistors inside, two 1K resistors. Now, this is an equivalent circuit. This isn't exactly what's inside these, uh, these sensors, but it's easier to understand if you use uh, the resistors. It's, it's a very common um, way of explaining electronic circuits. We have a rotor here then um, that turns when the wheel turns. And as you can see in this picture here below, you have the, these little uh, uh, high and low points on this uh, rotor. And when you get a high point here near this magnet, it, it changes this magnetic field inside on, in this sensor and it either turns on one, both of these resistors or one of them. When it's in the off position, let's say there's only one resistor in operation, you have 0.8 of a volt here because if you do Ohm's law, there is three resistors in series here. There's one, two, and then you got three, and then down to ground, and then this goes back to the battery. So as you can see there, you would have a higher voltage here, which uh, uh, might read about 10, 11 volts. Um, down here then, you will have uh, 0.8 or 1.6, dependent on the position of this rotor. When the rotor turns, and turns this on this second uh, resistor, more current uh, can flow through these. The value of this resistor has changed and this voltage here at this particular point here rises. This is what you see here over time when you rotate the wheel and these highs and lows uh, go by this um, permanent magnet here. If the signal return line goes up in circuit was open circuit, you will now have 12 volts here. And this 12 volts, this here will now be longer around 10 or 11 volts. It will rise now to the, the, the voltage here that's been supplied to the ABS module because no current will flow in this circuit. You have to have a closed circuit before the current will flow. So the ABS will know by zero volts here, you'll get no, nothing in here because the the ground end of this sensor is being monitored as well. It wants to see either 1.6 or 0.8 volts put into the monitoring circuit. If you ground this end, it brings down this to zero volts, this line to zero volts as well. Likewise, the monitoring circuit will pick that up as well as zero volts. If this point here is at zero volts, more current will fl uh, flow through this uh, high value resistor, which will give you more of a voltage drop. 
So it should be able to tell you, and I can uh, um, verify that. Um, if you put a, a normal filament type uh, automotive uh, test light at this particular point here to chassis, it will bring this down to ground and you're, you will get a fault code for a short circuit on the, uh, in the circuit. I uh, hope that explains it a little bit better uh, than my last video. And uh, until the next video, thanks for watching.